Hey, what is up guys and welcome to Overlord Realm episode 1. I know I kind of hopped around realms for a bit. I was on Skeleton at first and that's where I got a lot of my viewers at in the beginning and stuff. And then I moved to Magma because that's where Dex moved. And I was kind of moving around with Dex and just doing everything with the big faction. But I decided to change it up. I came on Overlord Realm um, since it was just fresh. Warlock and Overlord Realm just reset if you guys didn't know. But yeah, along with that means I can play this while I wait for Magma to reset or for Skeleton to reset wherever Dex goes next or whatever I do next. Um, I might even end up back on Overlord Realm next. Who knows? But yeah, guys, this is going to be more of a like how to psycho um, kind of thing. I don't really know how to explain the name of the series yet. I don't really know what I'm going with. But basically, I am solo. I made a base solo. I do have one friend in the faction and he will occasionally hop on and he might help me here and there. But for the most part, I'm solo. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have set up so far. Um, we're currently still in grace period so anything that you guys see on my base is not permanent. It is not made to protect me against raiding right now. This is all just while grace period is on and then I'm going to have to grind a lot more base work out before um, TNT enables. So I'm going to go ahead and go home base. Which takes me to the top of my base here. Um, this is all obby just because I was using a mutation bucket on the inside. And it, I wanted to make sure I got all the box. So it kind of put some on the outside walls here. But yeah, it's nothing big at all so far as you guys can see. I think I have like maybe 14. I don't know. 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So a lot less than I thought. We have 9 walls. But yeah, for those people that are new to the server or new to the game in general. All I did here is I used nether netherrack. And I made an outline around my original, just, just a one chunk base. If you guys do slash F space SC, you can see full chunks. As you can see, this is a full chunk base up to the wall. I went one block out where this water is now. It was netherrack. I placed an infinity bucket along the edges here and it gen um, these two walls here. I made this the base wall, put a roof over it. And then I just made trays and I gen in these other walls. And I'm going to gen in a lot more like that. And I might even throw in a little clip or a little time lapse of me jetting in some more walls but yeah let's go ahead and hop inside the base now i'm gonna go um f home is actually what i have a set to since it's just me and the faction and inside this is what i've been working on as you guys can see at the bottom of my screen i'm level five a hundred percent i need to kill 10 horde mobs before i can level up to level six which is like a really good level for grinding i believe that is when you get access to skellies and that is the that is a big money mob from when I used to play at least people would always love to get skeletons because it was the it was the one you would grind all day to get a bunch of money and just advance in the in the game but yeah so I've been leveling up here I have like five pigs five sheep five chicken three rabbit and then six horse spawners um, currently I, I'm not using any of them because I just finished horses but yeah this is my little setup I have here so far as you guys can See, it's no secret we are on the border. Please don't, please don't come and find me. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a preview down here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you something else about this as well. So down here, as you guys can see, we have a 10 layer melon farm that um, MK did help me build. He's the other person in my faction. Um, also, I really love this random enchant I got. It's called Agile 1. And it makes it so I can't um, destroy these crops, which I was doing a good bit before. I wanted to show you guys a thing that Psycho has called a Harvester Axe, which is basically when you mine the melons, they go straight to your inventory, so you don't have to mess with them being all over the ground or um, disappearing or like falling down in the water, you know, just making a mess. There's one of my mistakes right there. But yes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this episode as well. Um, and then I'll go ahead and give it a little test here on these melons. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So basically, it's called the Harvester Axe. Um, it is 50k for this, and this axe alone. It will put it right into your inventory. But this is also a plain diamond axe. There's no enchants on this. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go find the enchant merchant, which I believe is over here somewhere. And you will click on it and then you can... Yeah, here it is. Just going to show you guys. You click on it with the axe and then you can go to fortune. And fortune 3 is 25k. So this is a big thing people used to push. It's 50k for the axe, 25k, and boom, you got fortune 3. And then efficiency 5. And that is 37.5k. And boom, I happen to have all that money ready. That was for mining actually, but I have all that money there. And now we have a finished harvester axe. Um, sometimes people do unbreaking as well. I'm not gonna mess with unbreaking because I'm probably not gonna farm melons that much anymore, honestly. Um, 
I'm allied to one of the bigger factions on the server called Cringe, and they also go to the mines a lot, so I'm normally pretty well off and I'm pretty safe because um, if anybody is there, normally, even if it's not Cringe, they're pretty peaceful with me. Yeah, this is basically how it works. As you guys can see, it goes straight to my inventory. They're, they don't drop on the ground at all, and it makes it a lot less of a hassle. I'm going to show you guys how long it takes for me to fill up an inventory. Um, most of the time, people who make melon farms, they don't make them only one chunk big and tall. They make them a lot longer, so you just can run. But in our case, I had already made this base and then decided we were going to do a melon farm. So we had to work with what we had, and I didn't want to go make one in the wild, because here, if you guys think about it, I'm always in this base. Most of the time, if I'm not mining, I'm in the base. So I'm always letting these melons grow back by being here in this base. If it was a big, long melon farm, then it wouldn't do that, because you have to be in the chunks for the melons to come back and load. But as you guys can see, my inventory is already full as it's going to my hotbar, and I'm going to finish my hotbar. It should only take me about that much and boom when your inventory gets full they just drop on the floor which when you're using the harvester axe if you see melons on the floor it's a good sign that your inventory is full because you will never ever see any others on the floor um i don't have cell inventory on here so i'm gonna go ahead to shop and i'll show you guys what to do you right click melon and then left click or right click cell inventory i'm pretty sure both work but yeah as you guys can see i do have a few other things in my hot bar but this amount of melons that took me no time to get sells for 6.3k Hey guys, I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover clip over this clip right here because I wasn't recording at the time because I have been hunting horde mobs all day trying to find the right amount that I need. I was 6 out of 10 going into this. I had just sat on another stack and then everybody killed them and I still needed 4 more. I've gone to so many hordes all day and I came in here. I wasn't even geared. Um, I was just using health potions but it came in clutch and I was able to get the last 4 that I needed and finally get access to that slash rank up. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Let's get into the next clip. Alright guys, so this is what my base is looking like so far. Um, I'm probably going to leave it at this amount of walls for now. Just showing you guys off a little bit. I don't know what kind of world edit glitch that. That's not in the real server. I'm in a world edit right now. I don't know what that is. It's not actually in the real world. But um, <clears throat> currently I've not really worked on the base much on the inside because we're still in grace period. But yeah, I have about, I think it's about 30-ish walls at the moment. I'm not going to reveal the location of my base other than it's on the border. Um, I did a lot of progress today and yesterday. The video is kind of mushed together from today and yesterday. But yeah, I did all this solo, so I mean, that wasn't too bad for me. Um, glad I did it on the border, so it saved me a lot of time. But yeah, we're currently number 18 um, value-wise, which is pretty far down there. But we also have been grinding more base stuff than we have value, and I... We're struggling to get horde mobs, but finally got those. Now I'm going to push for skeleton spawners and push more money-wise. And I'm definitely going to bulk up the defense on this base a little bit. I'll go ahead and fly down here to show you guys. Um, none of this is trenched. I didn't trench any of this. Um, I just don't feel like I could go that far all out because I'm playing solo. So it's not all trenched, but I might have gotten lucky here and got some deeper walls. <laughs> But yeah, I'm probably going to fill this little box here with more rev layers. And that'll probably be it for rev layers. I know it's not a ton, but it's just just my one by one base. I might eventually get rid of the melon farm because mining and stuff's way better. But uh, if I want to add more stuff, I'll probably get rid of the melon farm. Maybe even add more rev layers right there. But yeah, that's the base. Let's go ahead and get to the next clip. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's kind of been split up into a couple days worth of recording, like, all combined, because I've been really busy this week, and that's why there's not been an episode for a little bit. Um, I actually graduate tomorrow, and the video will probably either be out after I graduate, unless I edit it and post it tonight. But yeah, 
we're gonna go ahead and open this necrotic charm to end it off I just got out of the basic tier spawners as, as you guys can see at the bottom I finally was able to kill those 10 horde mobs as you guys saw and I got to level 6 now now I just need all the money to buy skeleton spawners and basically just start getting the money from them but yeah let's go ahead and open this necrotic charm and see what we can get I don't have an abundance of charms on here like I did on magma room it's not as easy um, so these charms are a little bit harder to get for me at the moment doesn't look like we're gonna get anything from there we got okay <laughs> unless these bloody notes give us something good we got pretty screwed over um, okay let's go ahead and 2k <laughs> and one and a half k okay well that wasn't the best yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i'll see you in the next one peace out